Members such as Bob Thomas, and to my right, our founder, John Dowling. Came on the ferry. Thanks for coming, John. This is really an honor. Um, both in the audience today. We advocated for, in, the, in basically in 1973, this walkway was closed. It was closed in 1964. There's a great picture in the Courier Post of a guy right at this spot, very 1964, very 1964 cars parked along here, blocking the gates to the stairways. So that was 1964. So in 1973, the Bicycle Coalition one was newly formed, 1972, and uh, they were able to negotiate with the Port Authority to bring access to the bridge. And really, since for the past 45 years, about 95% of the time, um, that bridge has been open. Um, so in the 2000s, uh, we had uh, a couple of closings and some of our advocates were concerned because uh, they weren't able to get to their jobs. So we started advocating for better access, uh, balanced closures, the, the north is closed and the south is open and vice versa, and um, for longer hours on the bridge, which we got. So it used to be 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, in the mid-2000s, uh, or around 2010 or so, uh, DRPA extended those hours, and now, uh, during the summer, we have a nine o'clock closing time. So, what, during those discussions, the idea of improving this stairway and replacing it with a ramp came to be. And so, in 2012, uh, we were working with DRPA to get it into the capital program. And we asked uh, our supporters to sign petitions to uh, encourage the DRPA Board of Commissioners to put it in their capital program and to work on design a ramp, and that's exactly what they did. The DRPA has responded by working collaboratively with many regional partners to make today's ribbon cutting possible. Collaboration is behind all the projects, all the progress that we make in the Circuit Trails Coalition. It happens between a host of nonprofit organizations, public agencies, and philanthropic partners like the William Penn Foundation. Our thanks go to the Delaware River Port Authority and CEO John Hansen for seeing this project through. Woo! Funding and oversight. Uh, I cannot overemphasize how um, transparent and cooperative the DRPA leadership has been over the past uh, five or six years. And a lot of it is in um, is because of CEO John Hansen. So thank you. So, on that note, we look forward to riding this bridge with you today and to planning many more rides in the near future. Let's go.